It's Mary. Open up. The master has risen. I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. Mary, has the pain made you crazy? Jesus is dead and buried. When did you see him? Mary, sit down. You don't believe me. Don't believe me, but I saw him and, and he spoke to me. What did he say to you? Go and tell them I've risen. That's what he said to me. Why don't you believe me? I saw him. <laughs> I'll destroy this temple and rebuild it in three days. There are so many things he said that we didn't understand. I'm going to see. I'm going with Peter. again on the third day. That's what he said. We were blinded by the light. It was so strong we couldn't see anything else. Where could such a light be coming from? 
Maybe it was a miracle. Anyway, you two are accomplices of whoever stole the body. They took it from under your noses. But we didn't see anyone. I'm not interested in what happened. I'm only interested in the story you're going to tell. We'll say that... You'll say that the Nazarene's disciples came during the night and stole him away while you were asleep. That's not true. We were ordered to keep watch and we did. This money is for you. If you say what I've just told you, there won't be any trouble. They're trying to discover where Jesus' body is hidden. But where are his disciples? Who knows? They're looking for them too. sir. Where's your father? He's not in. He left early this morning to go and work in the fields. And what about your mother? She's with my father. No one's in. Just myself and my dog. Nothing. Let's go. So, you are saying it's useless to look for them? They left the city before sunset. Yes, but what about the body of the Nazarene? It's not difficult to hide a body. They've got friends in every home. Yes, we should call off the search. If not, we'll be the laughing stock of the city. fled once more, but he's surely looking for us. If they caught you, they would have put you in prison and flogged you to find out where Jesus' body was. I believe he's risen, and I'm going back to Jerusalem tomorrow to wait for him. And if anyone asks me about him, I'll reply, of course I know him. I'm one of his disciples. They're looking for us in Jerusalem to put us to death. Better stay away from the city for a while. You'll see. My cousin will be happy to put us up. 
and we'll be safe with him. said they'd stolen the body. That's what they're all saying. Well, no one's stolen it. No one. So? So I don't understand. The women say he's risen. I don't believe that. What are you talking about? The things that have been happening in Jerusalem. What things? Haven't you heard about Jesus of Nazareth? He was a powerful prophet in the eyes of God and all the people. But why are you talking of him in the past? Because the Sanhedrin handed him over to the Romans, who sentenced him to death and had him crucified. We had hoped he was the Messiah and would have set Israel free. But three days have now gone by since it all happened. We were his disciples. But now we're running away. You seem distraught. You would be too if you'd heard what we have. This morning, some women found the tomb empty. They had a vision of angels who declared he was alive. And what about you? Didn't you go and see the empty tomb? No, we didn't. Foolish men. So slow to believe all the prophets have said. So it was written that the Christ should bear this suffering. Like a lamb about to be slaughtered before entering into his glory. Go ahead without me. I'm going the other way. Where are you going? Stay with us, my friend. It's nearly evening and the day is over. recognized him when he quoted the scriptures. He's back, like he said. He broke the bread, just as he used to when he was with us. And then we recognized him. But he immediately disappeared. So he's risen. He really is risen. Where's Thomas? If he were here, he'd say you were drunk. Impossible. We hadn't even touched a drop. What do you intend to do now? We'll stay with you in Jerusalem. The Lord will return. What's the matter with Juniper? The gods, they're back. Be quiet. Peace be with you. It, it's, it's him! him. It's, it's really him! It's him. It's him. It's him. Master, why are you afraid? And why are these doubts stirring in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. A 
ghost has no flesh and bones. Have you anything here to eat? This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me by the prophets was destined to be fulfilled. So it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name, repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations. Thomas, come in. It's no use. Unless I can see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Why do you want to convince me? I love Jesus, but that's no reason to believe something so absurd. I'd like to believe you, but I can't. It's no use. I refuse to believe anything so absurd. No one can rise from the dead. Master. Peace be with you. Thomas. Master. It's... it's you. Put your finger here and look at my hands. Now give me your hand. Put it into my side and don't be unbelieving anymore. I believe. My Lord and my God. Thomas, you believe because you saw me. But blessed are those who have not seen, and yet believe. Master! Master! My lord! You're back! Master! What will happen now? I will precede you in Galilee. We shall meet there. Jesus! Jesus! Lord, where are you? Don't leave us! Where's Juniper? Have you got anything to eat? We haven't caught anything! Throw the net out to the right and you'll find something. It's the Lord! Eat with me. 
Peter, do you love me? Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Feed my lambs. My friends, as my father sent me, I am sending you. Go, therefore, make disciples of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them what I have taught you. And remember, I will be with you always, till the end of time. Men of Galilee, why are you standing here looking at the sky? This Jesus, who's been taken up from you into heaven, will come back in the same way as you've seen him go. After Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, a persecution against all those who are with him explodes in Jerusalem. This is the reason why the apostles leave the city of Jerusalem and with them many disciples. They are afraid, but remember Jesus' promise that he would remain with them, that he would not abandon them. Fear and faith become intertwined. Jesus maintains his promise and confirms their faith. He appears to those who have run away. He eats with them. They can touch him. Those who actually saw him die on the cross realize the reality of his corporeal existence. There are many accounts which confirm his realistic appearances after the resurrection. The Apostle Paul makes reference only a few years later. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, was buried, resurrected, and appeared to Peter and to the Twelve. This is why they, as well as I, proclaim him. The Gospels say that he appeared to two disciples at Emmaus, a small town not far from Jerusalem, and then appeared in different places, even in far off Galilee. Jesus eats a roasted fish when he meets with his friends. As in his last supper with the Twelve, he then takes the bread and breaks it, which makes it impossible for them not to recognize him. But those who saw him die on the cross and be buried are afraid of Jesus' sudden appearance. Luke writes in his Gospel, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. Reassured, the disciples told all of this to other disciples, saying, We've seen the Lord. The toughest task is left to Thomas, the doubter. While he is together with the other disciples, Jesus appears in their midst and invites Thomas to touch his hands and his side. Jesus scolds him, saying, You believe because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. As Jesus promised, he remains present with those who love him, even now, today. In the first Christian communities, it became a tradition to greet one another in a word of faith and hope, which can still be repeated today. Maranatha, 
It is an Aramaic expression which means, the Lord is coming, the Lord will return. Oh, 